All right, so first things first, uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, each individually, and how you wound up here uh, in these two very interestingly placed locations. Uh, well, I'm actually going to defer to my wife. My name's Chris Bolter, this is my wife, Debbie, and we uh, are the owners of Bees, Cookies, and Cakes. Tell them, buddy. Uh, my name is Debbie Bolter, and um, we, we got into this. We had a restaurant before, and uh, we, we've always been doing cakes and cookies on the side, and, and, um, and some catering. and. And so we've been looking for a location and we just came across this place and uh, I, I was looking to do something new, so it just came about. Um, okay. Now, you two are sisters. Yes. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, but then we're going to get into the really interesting part of this, which is the fact that you two are sisters and you own businesses not even a stone's throw apart from each other. Yeah. So I'm Pam Bailey and I own Simply Home. Um, it's a home decor store. Um, I've had some experience in it in the past because I used to travel around for trade shows. Um, kind of got away from it for a while and just it had always still been a passion of mine and as my sister found this wonderful place here, um, there just happened to be a little store that just kind of stuck out to me. So that's so. the that's the big question, huh? because I think a lot of people are going to say two sisters. Was that planned, or was that kind of one found, and then the other one was sort of, hey, there's a space available. Yeah, yeah. We well, we we talked about doing something together. Um, uh, so, uh, I have a background in, in, in the arts and crafts uh, business, and and, um, and uh, so, but when I found this place, the that one came up and I said to her, hey, you know, to be close to me. And so we, you know, it kind of came about that way. So you guys opened on November 2nd and you opened before or after? I was open on October 25th. Okay, so you were open before then. Yeah. Um, what has it been like so far? You obviously, Simply Home, uh, you, I would imagine things picked up a little bit for you during the holiday shopping season. Yeah. Probably a little slower now, but what was what was your first Christmas season like in Sunny Falls? It was amazing because, um, especially with the wonderful life experience, it was right. just like so wonderful to start off a business in that aspect and right. have all these people come and recognize what you have here mm -hmm. um, and all the people from around the United States. I even have people like New Jersey that are still contacting me and like that I can't wait to come and buy things that were made by like my father. Right. So it was the holiday season was just amazing for me just to be open right away and to have so many clients. It was it was a great experience. Now you guys obviously must have had quite a boom that particular weekend. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even in general, you guys have been doing quite well over the last few months as you've opened up, correct? It's been pretty busy. We um, we we decided to, uh, when we decided to open, we decided to uh, offer hot breakfast mm -hmm. because nobody really in Seneca Falls offers hot breakfast. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's one of the things that when we lived here not that long ago, you couldn't find it. So we thought, well, okay. And uh, so we've been doing well with that. Um, our focus uh, is really on occasion cakes and wedding cakes and things like that that uh, that Debbie makes and decorates beautifully and I don't have to do a lot of that work. So that's really why we focus on that. Um, but uh, so far we've, um, we've, uh, we've done very well. Uh, th we've been quite busy. Uh, we, we offer um, things that other people don't offer, which is what we're trying to do. We always do a quiche of the day, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we do three or four quiches of the day mm -hmm. um, to, to offer different opportunities or different things, and that's been pretty popular. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life weekend was insanely busy. It was great. Um, the uh, I think because we had hot chocolate and coffee and goodies, um, a lot of the characters kept coming around and, and seeing us, which was great. Uh, we did sponsor one of the characters, uh, the, the two stores together, mm -hmm. and uh, that was that was terrific. But the um, it was just a, it was a nice experience, and it was nice to have so many people 
that were just in the holiday mood. It was just a positive, just a, a very positive um, experience. Everybody was happy. Now, I guess that's one of the one of the questions. I <laughs> you run a business in downtown Seneca Falls. Um, you're filling a niche. Both of you really are filling a niche. And there isn't a lot of competition in Seneca Falls as a whole for that. Um, what has that been like? And so, do you think there's a are you surprised that it hasn't been tried successfully before in this area? Because this is, I mean, we're on the State Street block coming from Fall Street down to where the downtown buildings end. And historically, this stretch of buildings has been relatively empty. Um, obviously, you guys saw a great opportunity here. It's working out very well. Were you surprised that the spots were available? Well, there was that initially, um, but I, I think one of the things that's, that's making uh, helping us to be successful is that we're not focused on just one thing. Right. Um, uh, we've got a few brides that we're working with. We're, we're providing either a, either catering for their wedding or pro providing them with their wedding cakes or with their dessert buffet, depending on what what they choose to do. And I think doing uh, more than one thing out of out of the space is really, you know, important right. to, to help us be successful. Um, the fact that we are, you know, a married couple and we're a team, I think that also helps um, because you don't have to worry about employees not showing up or not being there when you need them or, you know, and so that helps us a lot. <laughs> One of the things that I thought was great was having Pam just down the street and, you know, it, it's just nice to have you know, if she's there by herself and she needs help to move something, right. she can just say, hey, can you come help me? Yeah. And it's just nice to have that. Now, that was going to be part of my next question. Part, oh. of, part of my next question is about the, the obviously, sisters. Yeah. Um, what is that dynamic like? Because people always say being in business with family is difficult, but you guys aren't in business necessarily, but you're helping each other right. out in any way you possibly can. But then the other side of that is um, a married couple working all day together, going home, spending the rest of time together. Uh, what are those two dynamics like um, in terms of the balance for people who might just be thinking, how, how do they do it? Uh, it's funny, because we're actually better as a married couple when we work together mm -hmm. than when we have time apart, I feel like. I, I think we're actually happier um, mm -hmm. uh, working together, and, and we've always been close. Our family is very yeah. close. And, uh, so we always throw on ideas off of each other, so it just kind of helps us expand mm -hmm. a vision. And we're always talking to each other mm -hmm. about stuff. Like, yeah. how else could we make something better? You know, what do you think would work, you mm -hmm. know, in our spaces or in the area? What have been the big challenges then so far in the first three or so months? Um, I think uh, uh, we, we really haven't advertised a lot, but um, happily we've been we've been busy. I didn't want to advertise uh, right away because I wanted to work out the kinks and right. and, uh, and get get known. Um, the challenges is in, in our in our space is space right. and uh, and <laughs> well we, in the we perception. Would, uh, People don't realize, that, you know, they, they see it and they think, oh, there's a kitchen back there, so they can do anything that, you know, another restaurant can do in a kitchen. When we have such <laughs> tiny spaces to work yeah. out of, it's, it's kind of incredible what we actually are able to produce out of this kitchen. Yeah. Um, and so we, we would like to do more <laughs> breakfast. We're, we're talk about doing more breakfast, but it, it really will depend on what we can so what we can do. So yeah. that, that's, that's been a, uh, a challenge. And, and people that want to bring in large groups, and, and we only have four tables. <laughs> you know, so it, that's been a little challenge, too. For, but uh, um, so other yeah. than, you know, really space for us is our biggest issue. <laughs> well, we used to have a restaurant that was in Montezuma, mm -hmm. and it was a 60 seat dining room with another 20 seats in kind of like a, a counter area with booths. Yeah. And that kitchen was huge compared to this. And I thought that was small. Yeah. So the amount, you, you can only do so much with so much space. And then 
if you plug one more thing in and the whole yeah. thing goes down, <laughs> you know. And we've had that happen a couple of times here, where we just had to learn that okay, you can't do that at the same time you're doing this, right. and and those kind of things just kind of limit what you're able to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and people don't realize that that's what you're going through back there as you're making their lunch, <laughs> you know, or their breakfast, or you know. Or making three people's breakfasts, you know. Breaker. <laughs> yeah, breaker went down. What what happened? Where's all the power? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So what are the plans? Starting with simply home, what are sort of the plans for 2017 in terms of like perfect world, perfect vision? What do you sort of see happening this year? Um, I'm looking to obviously build my clientele. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for the spring. Uh, I'm getting a lot of new fresh stuff in and. Um, I have a lot of kind of primitive things like at the moment, but I'm kind of going primitive slash like farmhouse decor, which is kind of a huge thing. And um, my dad's been building furniture, which is fun for him, and a lot of people like to see it. So mm -hmm. just a lot of fun, fresh things. And I like to change it up every season, too. So. In perfect world, I mean, we want a lot, a lot of clients to come in the Sun Falls and build. I'd also love to see all these spaces fill up because the more spaces that are filled up, that helps, falls, right? It just brings people in. So I'm all about working as a community and helping each other out. Now, what are your hours of operation? Um, right now, the winter hours, mm -hmm. I'm here Tuesday through Saturdays, and Tuesdays I'm only here from 10 to 2. Um, Wednesdays I'm here till 4, 10 to 4, and Thursdays are my late night, 10 to 6, and Fridays I'm here from 10 to 3, Saturdays 9 to 2. Mm -hmm. um, usually towards the spring, summer, I'm going to be here probably like, like every night until like 6, so just because it's a slower time of the year. And for uh, these cookies and cakes, uh, what is sort of the grand scheme plan for this year and also what are your hours of operation? We're kind of deciding on what our what our plan is mm -hmm. for this year. Um, we, we, we've been talking, as we were just talking about, we've been talking a lot about whether we're going to change our breakfast and maybe focus more on breakfast or um, focus more on wedding cakes and catering and things like that. Mm -hmm. So right now we're doing it all and that seems to be working, mm -hmm. but I have the feeling that in, in some way something's going to become greater and so the other things will kind of pull back. Right. So we're, we're kind of in flux right now. Um, we, we want to do it all, but we want to do it, you know, we want to do it well. Right. So there's going to come a point where we might not do breakfast as much or we might do totally breakfast mm -hmm. so it's uh, we're kind of in the middle in the middle um, the one thing that we I think we're always going to do is have things to grab and go like cookies and cupcakes and you know peanut butter bars which are my personal favorite but you know I think we'll have a lot of those things you know moving forward there will always be in coffee and hot chocolate and that kind of stuff um, I, at least that's what I'm thinking yeah, well, I know we're going to start adding some more uh, breakfast specials um, and, 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 and see where we're going to expand one way or the other. And, um, the hours, the winter hours, we uh, we closed Mondays now um, for the winter. It's just, you know, slower and um, and I can use the day to do stuff. <laughs> um, so we're, we're uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Um, we're uh, 8 to um, 2 right now. And Saturday is 9 to 12 and the reason we we close early is because we spend that time working on orders right. and, 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 and things like that um, cleaning up and stuff um, but the spring those days and times might change again um, 